about throwing Igor on this team. Yep. One more tool in the box, an excellent player, and now they're all tied up in King of the Hill. And here we go, the specialist, the mortar specialist coming out. Haven't seen it from him yet, but on the other side of it, we got Dandelion, who is six and four in King of the Hill in his career. He started off his career at three and four in King of the Hill, but then in the last season, he went three and oh at 100% win rate. Oh boy, Goblin Gang out for Igor, nice catch. I just hope, I mean, I know there's a lot of people here, but I'm still scream and fanboy over Mortar, there it is. There you go. There it is. You want to see one of the greatest Mortar players on the planet, where here you go. Four time number one, let's see what he does. Dark Goblin off the side there to help DPS down that Elixir Golem, and Mortar Shot's just raining in on the left hand side. And Fireball takes care of business on the right. Baby Dragon will pretty much even things up here, although we should get another Mortar Shot or two. Yeah, now that Igor knows that his Mortar can be used defensively against the win condition of Dandelion, I imagine we'll be seeing a lot more Minor Chip plus bait damage. First minute away. Or not. And just loading <laughs> back up again. Great last second Rasp was there to catch that Hunter. And the Mortar. Gonna tank, I think, just enough to take this Elixir Golem out. Dark Goblin way behind. Rascal Girl doing her job. And the Bats helping out just a little bit. Baby Dragon will take them off the board, but Mortar gets one more big shot. Log comes down, maybe Gang in the back to catch the Miner. Great plays from Igor. A very nice yeah. set, and that's gonna be so much trouble. Igor going hard at the bridge. Rascal Boy going for the tower. Rascal Girl's taking care of that Baby Dragon. Igor does not wow. want to. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. What a beautiful miner. And you see Dandelion not feeling very good about that, reeling over it. And now Igor playing his comfort deck in his second game ever at CRL with a big time lead. You know what's going to happen. You know he's going to play it at some point. And then he does, and you're like, okay, I know this is coming. And then the things he does with it just ruin your day. How can he stop it? Well, I'll tell you right now, giving three elixir every single time to Igor playing his favorite deck in the world, not going to do it for Dandelion. And he is in shambles on that tower. That's going to most likely be it. Dandelion with 30 seconds left. Elixir going, though, only three elixir. He can load up, but look at this. He has to play defense right-hand side. Minor to the number one spot. Mortar. Igor's pouring it on. Mortar on the tower again, and this is... If you want to know how to play Mortar, watch this match back. It was beautiful. Dandelion, last second push. Minor to the tower. Mortar across the tower. river. And there you go. Igor is 100% And he just gives a slight nod of the head, looks at his and goes, yeah, guys, I told you it was going to happen. And you've got to imagine Eric Benamou's feeling really good about himself right now. He talked.